something that goes viral, mm -hmm. then everybody will start piggybacking. Shannon Sharp is making a lot of money off of his famous meme. More of you should go put on the green attire. Sharp informed Chad Johnson, because Total Wine just ordered 2,000 more cases. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Sharp created a promotional video for his cognac brand, and his tight-fitting green suit and clumsy steps made him an internet sensation. Hey, I need somebody else to go in front of Total Wines and put on that green outfit. Sharp was made fun of by everyone, from Antonio Brown to Donald Rawlings. In spite of his accurate assessment, Rawlings still made the time to defend Sharp. Oh, y'all that did it? I need y'all, I need y'all some more people to go do it. Although it was humorous, Sharp probably still feels the effects of his lengthy NFL playing career, according to Rawlings. Over the course of his 13-year career, Sharp appeared in over 200 games and gained close to 11,000 receiving yards. Sharp, meanwhile, recently asserted that the money he earned from his interview with Cat Williams surpassed the whole amount he earned in a single NFL season. YouTube AdSense brought in at least $113,000 for the Club Shay Shay interview, and that's not counting extra exposure, sponsorships, and subsequent sales. In 2000, Sharp earned $5 million, the most he has ever made in an NFL season. Even with Sharp's Hall of Fame career, inflation and the fact that he was selected in the sixth round of the draft must be considered. It's hardly surprising that comedians have targeted Shannon Sharp ever since Cat Williams's widely shared Club Shay Shay interview. Griffin, for instance, mocked Sharp's podcast recently by referring to it as Club Gay Gay while performing. Sharp made care to bring up this point lately on Nightcap. People gonna let them say whatever. You know who you are. He claims that the reason people are talking about him is just that he's the hot thing at the moment. What they're doing now is that they found out that Shannon is the hot thing. He clarified that even though he knows who he is, he doesn't allow individuals who consistently use the same joke to affect him. They using the same joke. He described. But at some point in time, it's gonna get old and people gonna get tired of y'all saying that Shannon's gay. And Shannon, this you're going to have to get back to telling jokes. Yeah, Shay Shay. Yeah. Gay gay. Sharp has been accused of being gay by comedians such as Mike Epps, and Griffin truly made the accusation. He even gave the show the name Club Gay Gay. Though it was a really cheesy joke overall, it did make some people laugh. <laughs> Shannon Sharp appears to be receiving more hate than ever before now that he is having success in the interview arena. That nigga sitting there with them tight ass pants on. Sharp had never had to deal with rumors like these before, but because his interviews are going viral practically every week, he is currently facing a barrage of charges. Since he is currently the most well-known figure in the media, it is obvious that some people wish to take him down from his pedestal. That appears not to be feasible at this time, at least not right now. That nigga Shannon Sharp called me trying to do an interview. I said no, my dear. Recently, Shannon Sharp received few wayward balls from players like Mike Epps. When Epps brought up Shannon and his notorious Club Shay Shay podcast, he was at a comedy gig. I ain't doing no interview, so you can sit across from me and look at my balls. Huh? Epps appears to be offended at the remarks made about him on the show overall, even though none of these statements are directly from Sharp. Nigga, shit is called Shay Shay. The nigga's telling you. That didn't stop Epps from disparaging the NFL icon. Sharp was even accused of being gay by Epps. Put a wig on that nigga, tell me if that ain't motherfucking Medea's sister, nigga. Mention my name again. Yeah. And I'm gonna put the DM. Shannon saw these remarks, of course, and was not at all pleased with them. He lost it on Epps in last night's episode of Nightcap. See, and yeah. I don't care about all that other stuff. You could say I'm gay. He made a threat to reveal direct messages. He had plenty of time, of course. Because yeah. I won't chase a lot. But yeah. I won't let you lie on my name. You said I reached out to you to come on Club Shay Shay, and you're a mofo lie. Now when I see you, I'm gone see if you're about that. Yeah. I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna see if you about that. Trying to get some jokes because you got mad because Cat Williams did what he did. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.